The Diker Beach Golf Course in South Brooklyn was recently the venue for Let's Talk Business, a conference aimed at entrepreneurs throughout the Orthodox community. The event took place amidst rising internal dissent over the question of teaching secular studies in ultra-Orthodox schools. On June 4th, a large billboard went up in Brooklyn calling for yeshivas to better prepare students for the challenging job market. But at the conference, speakers and participants from different Orthodox backgrounds felt that they had been prepared for the business world by their religious training, even if their knowledge of math, science, and English came in a non-traditional form. I went to ultra-religious Orthodox schools, and I think it absolutely prepared us. When we were little kids, five, six years old, we learned the work ethic. Right? And it started at 7.30 in the morning with prayers, and it ended at 5 o'clock in, in the afternoon. And I'm not talking about the subjects that we learned. We all worked hard, and it's a work ethic that travels with us wherever we go. So it's not really about if I learned English. I didn't learn English till later on. I didn't learn how to read, write, and everything like that right away. But I went to college because I decided that I wanted to go to college, and I learned, and I could say the only reason why I succeeded in college is because of my work ethic. There are other opportunities of getting a formalized education which is not within the school system, it's post-school system. There are many go government programs where you can go for training, you can be sitting in the base medrash all day and you can be learning and you can take an hour a night or every other night and go to a training program which can give you training in computers or in accounting and you're not compromising um, other areas of your life by doing that. It's taking a little bit of time and doing it outside of the formal school years and you can still learn something. But shouldn't, be the, shouldn't this be part of the formal school education? Not necessarily. It depends on the person, it depends on their family, it depends on their community in terms of what, how they want to feel comfortable in terms of education. Some disputed the need for certain aspects of higher secular education. Um, you know, education, if you need it, if you don't to legal things, of course, you have to have that education. You definitely need career education, like what we're doing over here. We define things around business. Um, obviously, a lot of higher education includes liberal arts and things like that. You know, but it needs a lot of what I call narshkite, uh, which you have to do to get some kind of higher education. Uh, but, but even amongst you know, the supporters of religious schools, some argued that parts of secular education remain an important aspect for individual development, even for the Orthodox. If somebody's in the United States of America, it's very important to them to be able to communicate and get where they have to go. And I do think that even the most religious school, a child can speak to, even if he can spell properly, which obviously is something I think every child should do, but everyone can speak the language, everyone can get around. And um, I do put an emphasis on secular studies, but not at the expense of religious studies. And I do think that the, the schools, they should be doing, and they probably are doing, whatever the government mandate is in order to get those funds. The fact that it may not be in the traditional way or the way that certain people would like to see it is neither here nor there. It is being done and the education is being delivered. This confidence in religious schools has recently been challenged in investigations by DNA Info, which document in numerous cases where religious schools appear to not be offering courses mandated by the state. But at the conference, everyone seemed genuinely pleased with the business training that they were getting and optimistic that their work ethic can make up for any educational shortcomings.